Calcium Channel Blockers Calcium Channel Blocker Option of First Line Antihypertensive Drugs The Calcium Channel Blockers, CCBs, have been grouped into three chemical classes which have distinct pharmacodynamic profiles. 1. Phenylalkylamine Verapamil 2. Benzothiazepine Diltiazem 3. Dihydropyridins Nifedipine Amlodipine Nimodipine Benadipine Lacidipine Nicardipine Clinidipine, Lecanidipine, Nitrendipine, Felodipine. The dihydropyridins DHPs, are lipophilic and are the most potent CCBs, while verapamil and diltiazem are relatively hydrophilic and less potent. Calcium channels. Three types of CA channels have been described in smooth muscles, other excitable cells as well. Voltage sensitive channel, receptor operated channel, leak channel. All voltage-sensitive CA plus channels are membrane-spanning, funnel-shaped glycoproteins that function as ion-selective valves. Calcium is necessary for the excitation-contraction coupling in the skeletal, cardiac and smooth muscle. Mechanism of action. CCB bind to alpha-1 subunit of L-channel and inhibits the entry of calcium into the myocardial and vascular smooth muscles, thus decreasing availability of the intracellular calcium. They are potent vasodilators. Cardiovascular actions. And shunginal action of these drugs is due to 1. Improvement in the coronary blood flow and 2. Decrease in the oxygen demand of the heart due to reduction in systemic vascular resistance vasodilatation and BP afterload. Verapamil, in addition, reduces the heart rate. As a group, these drugs can be used in unguinal patients with COPD in whom beta blockers are contraindicated. Coronary artery dilatation, these drugs are more potent than NTGS coronary artery dilators. Nitroglycerine dilates the large epicardial branches of coronary arteries but not the smaller intramyocardial coronary arterioles. CCB dilate both, even in the presence of coronary artery spasm. Further, they can prevent the spasm even in diseased, atherosclerotic coronary arteries. This effect accounts for their efficacy in prinmetal angina. Effect on peripheral blood vessels, CCB relax the vascular smooth muscle in systemic as well as pulmonary arterial circulations. They thus decrease the vascular resistance and the BP in both territories, and are useful in the treatment of systemic and pulmonary hypertension. Further, reduction in the afterload contributes to their efficacy in angina of effort. The reduction in BP is accompanied by reflex tachycardia in the case of nifedipine but not in the case of verapamil which depresses the node. They have little effect on the venous capacitance cardiac preload. Negative inotropic effect, CCB depress myocardial contractility and decrease the cardiac workload and oxygen consumption. This effect is beneficial in the treatment of angina of effort. Verapamil and diltiazem have negative inotropic actions and hence should not be combined generally with beta blockers in the treatment of angina of effort, however, nifedipine can be used together with beta blockers. And shiarrhythmic effect, CCB. A. Decrease the rate of discharge of the sun node. B. Suppress ectopic pacemaker activity. C. Increase the refractoriness of the AV node and D. Slow the conduction. The slowing of the conduction prevents re-entrant excitation. This effect plus the improvement of cardiac ischemia accounts for the potent, though selective, and shiarrhythmic action. Verapamil and diltiazem are particularly potent in this respect. Verapamil and diltiazem, but not nifedipine, however, can aggravate AV block. Verapamil. This drug is a synthetic papaverine derivative. It causes suppression of SA and AV nodes which are CA2+. Dependent. Coronary and peripheral vasodilatation. Potent and shiarrhythmic effect and potent negative inotropic effect and may cause AV block. It does not cause reflex sympathetic overactivity and tachycardia. Given orally, it is absorbed completely but is substantially metabolized by first pass. Hepatic metabolism. It is highly protein-bound. Adverse effects include constipation, vertigo, bradycardia, heart block, CHF, hypotension and rarely cardiac asystole.
It is available as 40 mg tablets and as sustained release tablets. It is used in the treatment of angina in the dose of 40 to 80 mg 3 to 4 times a day.